All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get your dog on a flight for free. Now, I've seen so many videos, they don't even, they don't get into it, they beat around the bush and they kinda like, you know, and I know why they do that, it's because they don't want people taking advantage of the system and how it works with service dogs and emotional support dogs. Whether you need an emotional support dog or a service dog, legitimately, or you don't, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you have a dog that's not gonna cause any problems at the airport. So if there's too many dogs, you know, pissing and pooping and biting and doing a whole bunch of bad shit at the airport they're going to shut it down so any of you trying to do this you know trying to fly your dog for free with a service dog an emotional support dog whether you need them or not you need to have a well disciplined dog you need to know 100 percent that you have control of your dog that he's not going to go poop and that he's going to listen to you so without further ado let's get into it so shadow here is my emotional support dog so he goes with me on a lot of my flights when i go back home or when i go to florida and that was one of the big reasons why i didn't get a bigger dog because originally i wanted a pit bull but I went with the English Staffy here because they're like a pit bull, but they're just a lot smaller. So all the characteristics that pit bulls have that you guys love, English Staffies have. So that's why I got one because they're gonna be so much easier to travel with and just all the other advantages you have with a smaller dog. You wanna get out of here? You over it? So I think I got my point across that I don't want anybody doing this if they have a dog that they even question is going to be a bad dog at the airport. So let's get into it. What you need is an ESA letter, a emotional support animal letter. They're good for one year, so each year you got to renew it, and they're around 100 to 150 bucks. 150 bucks gets you a certificate for a whole entire calendar year that you can fly with your dog. Now you pay the $150, you, take, you fill out the questionnaire, a legit therapist calls you and asks you some questions, and if you then get approved, then you're able to go to the airport and fly with your dog. But airlines matter, okay? Not every airline lets you do this. Now, I think that Delta, even if you have a service dog, it can't be a bully breed of any sort, but I'm not really sure about the other airlines. The only airline that I fly though with Shadow is Southwest. Southwest is by far my favorite airline. Now, some people, they, they think of Southwest as being this cheap airline, this and that, but I actually love Southwest. You get two checked bags for free. No other airline does that, I, I believe. They're the best with flying with emotional support dogs. I've been on over 10 flights and I've never had any issues. And my favorite part about Southwest Airlines is you can cancel your flight up to 10 minutes before your flight takes off and you get a full credit to use towards another flight for a whole calendar year. Say you're running late to the airport, you could just cancel your flight and schedule it tomorrow. No other airline, to my knowledge, is that easy. So they just have a Southwest app, boom, bada boom, and there you go. But anyway, guys, I'll get into the process of flying with Southwest when you have a dog. All you have to do is you schedule your flight, all right, just like how you'd normally do, and then you call Southwest and you tell them, hey, I have an emotional support dog, I have a letter, and they say, okay, and they change your reservation so that that is on your ticket and they expect a dog to be with you. So it's really as simple as that, guys. I'll have a link down below of the website that I got mine at. It was CertiPet, great company. You just pay the $150, fill out their questionnaire, a therapist calls you, see if you can get approved, and then if you get approved, they mail you a letter in. I think, I think they could do it as fast as two days, but if not, they also send you a PDF file once you're approved and then you could just print it out yourself But you need that physical letter when you show up to fly your dog and Southwest the counter lady They will look at it. They'll look at the date. They'll look to make sure everything's legit You're it's a certified by a therapist all that stuff and then you're good to go So that's really it guys as far as uh, how I'm able to fly shadow I get so many questions about it And I know there's a lot of videos about people taking their dogs to the airport and the whole process Maybe I'll do a video on that as well, but you guys don't need anything You guys don't need a special collar or a leash or whatever TSA, you just walk right through. Um, lots of times they'll just have me hold on to Shadow with his collar off and I'll go through the metal detector instead of going through the thing where you hold up your hands. But I can't stress this enough, guys. Make sure you have a dog that's friendly to dogs, that's friendly to humans, that won't poop, that won't pee, unless they're in a animal relief center at the airport. If a bunch of dogs start peeing and pooping and causing problems at the airport, they're absolutely gonna take this away and probably only let service dogs into the airport, not emotional support dogs. So yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this. Leave some comments down below if you guys have any questions. Give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. And guys, I never do this in my videos, but down below in the description, there'll be the CertiPet link where you guys can get your ESA letter. And there's also gonna be a link to a Southwest credit card that I really love. And of course, if you guys click the link, it'll be a 
of referral to me. But guys, look into this credit card. It is so freaking good. And if you do decide to get it, click that link because it's going to help me out. But I was able to pay for all of my holiday traveling with just the sign-up bonuses. And I have six other credit cards and it's my favorite one. I have two American Express, two Chase. The Southwest one is a Chase. I have a Discover card and I have a Capital One Venture card. But this one is by far the best. There is a small annual fee on it. But if you look into it, they give you like a $75 credit to travel or something like that as soon as they take out the annual fee. Plus they give you a shit ton of points anyway. So it's literally, there's an annual fee, but it's like zero at the end of it. Like I did, a, I did a whole bunch of research before. And if you guys don't know anything about credit cards, you want a lot of credit cards. There's so many people saying, oh man, credit cards are evil and credit cards do that. But if you guys want to establish really good credit, you want a lot of credit cards and you just don't run out the balances. So I use my credit cards on every purchase that I make and then I pay it off and like in like a week or two. So literally whenever I think about it, I go out, I go online, pay off my credit cards. It takes five minutes and my credit score is like an 800. But if you guys are one of those people that just, oh, I got a $10,000 credit limit. So I have $10,000. No, <laughs> you have what's ever in your bank account and then you pay off the credit card. So if you guys are one of those people who are gonna abuse a credit card, don't get it. But if you guys are trying to establish credit and get a shit ton of points to fly Southwest, like I said, it paid for my Thanksgiving travels, paid for my Christmas travels, and I still have like 20,000 points. So that's like a round trip somewhere. Just something to think about guys. I'm not trying to sell you on it but it is my favorite credit card and I have six of them. So if you want, click the link below. Really hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.